I expect to build a solution for textbook project. We want to shift the future world, improve the world into another level. I am sure that the, the goal now today is to be the best one of, of ourselves. I get your idea. I want to shape the future too. But how? So my name is Ibun, that's why I'm providing um, business consulting to uh, corporates and then also I connect young leaders from 201 countries to students. So my SDG Sustainable Development Goals journey started back in like 2016. Um, I attended this World Davos um, Economic Forum and I realized that there's so many like social issues around the world and I realized the only way that we can solve this is through education. So for the first um, half of the session, I talked about the importance of sustainability and the next half, I want the students to work on how we can connect sustainability and ICT, which is the main topic here. And today, I, Michael and I, we have created six different personas for you to work on for the next two hours. You're going to choose one persona and you'll be working on it. So for students, I prepared six different personas, people from different countries. They have to pick one persona and then work on their needs and an issue. And once they see it, once they deep dive into it, they have to come up with a solution, solves the persona's issues through ICT. I worked on a persona two, uh, which is the elder, elderly person. Um, feel like uh, lonely in the rural area and the solution we uh, come up with is that um, to create a car sharing system which uh, make the opportunity to communicate with other people and easy to access the uh, medical. Like even in the future it's like a you know, movie sector. So the idea uh, I'm going to present here today on the persona number six. Before I get into the solution, let's follow the format of the first thing we learned were about how we can actually use the sustainable development goals to transform the society. Second, how we can actually find a problem and break it down to a solution. And third, I got a chance to learn about the social problems of different countries. So these were the three main takeaways from that session. they learned how it's so much fun connecting with each other and then also there's so much fun talking with each other because we're the only one who can change the world because we, that's the beauty of human beings and I want them to really have opportunity to learn about each other, learn from each other. My name is Edwin Deander, I'm Chief Innovation Officer in our Electric Power Digitization Business Unit. In the program, The Seeds for the Future, we have broken down different sections into different compartments with respects to knowledge exchange. The first part is what I covered and which I'm very humbled and honored for. I was able and asked to introduce the overview of who we are as a company, what markets we address, how we are organized, but most importantly, where the successes are in the different industries that relates very strongly to talent talent development and talent cultivation, such as the program The Seeds for the Future. But maybe in the back end there's a communication infrastructure that requires upgrades or be more efficient in energy consumption and power. The energy verse for the metaverse. 
to visit the Huawei uh, headquarters is actually one of my dreams. There is a speaker that shares about Huawei. I think it's very good idea that Huawei is trying to do. It's about telling how to solve the social issue and also to bring everyone together with technology, make the technology accessible for uh, people to people. My name is Borakan. I'm Chief Technology Officer of Huawei Thailand. I've been working with Huawei Thailand for 18 years now and my role is bringing the ICT and digital technology from Huawei and getting integrated different technologies. I feel very, very positive. To be honest, I can see that the students not only just listen to, to our content, but they think uh, following how they would be able to use these kind of technologies and apply to their countries. By connecting the dot, the first day we learn about problem breakdown, like generally how we can actually, what are the problems the worlds are facing and how we should actually analyze them. Then we got a real-time example of how the big companies are solving. That will be the Huawei, for example. And followed by that, we learned about the digital power, like the power systems. We got an example of the problem the world is seeing right now, and how we can contribute to that. Then we learn about how we can, how should, how to think like an entrepreneur, how to break down a problem. Then after that, we learn about one of the really powerful tools of AI that we can actually use to solve those problems. What is AI? Um, I think overall the AI course was very well structured. Um, the instructor was amazing. Um, we learned not just the basics of AI about how AI is actually run when it comes to data and the databases, but we also went deeper into how AI is actually applied in real life cases. Artificial intelligence being a very important factor for the tomorrow's technological innovative world, we enjoyed a lot to that class. We came to know about strong AI, weak AI, super AI, and as well as many different forms like natural language processing, speech recognition, and etc. So summing up, it was a great start for our tomorrow. Um, the most significant thing that I learned from the 5G class, I was able to understand how the Huawei is making a great difference in the 5G ecosystem within the whole global international society and how it has been a front and supporter of 5G committed to all the societies. 5G is uh, the next generation of the internet connection. We will have more high speed and better connection. As we all know, communication is a very important and a very crucial part of our daily life. 5G plays a very important role in network communication. We are able to communicate faster then we can do many tasks very easily, like in the health sector, we can exchange information. We can use 5G in XR, AR, VR to pass information and all, so the task can be done very easily. Hi, I'm Mike McDonald from Huawei Technologies. Welcome to Chapter 1 of this course on Digital Power. Um, one interesting thing that I learned from class is about um, they so-called the energy cloud. Energy cloud is not about uh, transferring energy from one to another, but to use the data as the power to improve our sustainability of uh, environment and also our society. The class actually showed us, demonstrate us a video about how digitalized can be. It brings me a lot of impact. I don't get it. And this is something important and I, I think we are in a very, you know, cutting edge. In the Metaverse class and the forum, I personally shifted my perspective towards Metaverse. Whereas in the first phase, I thought that Metaverse could only work as an entertainment sector. But after that forum, I opened myself to think about Metaverse being used in 
um, increasing efficiency for many other places such as communication whereas we can use it to lessen the traffic and lessen the transportation cost. I am a guy who has been working with Metaverse since a long time and want to know more about it. So thank you to Metaverse XR, I came to know the different aspects of Metaverse, where the world is heading towards with Metaverse and what problems we could solve with Metaverse in different sectors like education, edtech, fintech and medicine. It's the most important thing. Metaverse is going to make internet two dimension as in your phone to be three dimension. My question is that I just want to know your perspective on like how like, um, humans, like AI, taking the place of humans. This is my first time to see like projects that are doing with VR and also gaming and also like the NFT and crypto stuff. They explaining us about how it work and how they um, doing it. I can't wait to learn what about those ICT trends because I hope one day I'll be that person who present my projects and then be part of Metaverse. We consider Metaverse as the internet of place. We hope that Metaverse initiative we could create the extraordinary experience and the well-being experiences for the people. The second aspect is that uh, we recognize Metaverse as the new digital transformation. Okay, so like so Metaverse for me is the collection of technology combining together, but ultimately it's about people. So regardless of technology we are using, right, it would be great for us to build the people and community that create positive for the world and also make an impact to the society. Most of the apps we use in our daily life rely on cloud computing. Also, cloud computing is another interesting field as well. In the past, there were servers. Now, it's just cloud computing providers like Huawei, AWS, and Microsoft Azure. So, cloud computing, there were various things I wanted to learn. Uh, one particular thing is about cloud computing services. There's infrastructure as service, software as service, and many more. So I went to talk with the mentor and I gained more knowledge on these services. And cloud computing is also even more efficient in terms of uh, transferring the data to the cloud and getting it in real time. The cloud computing platform gives us this method for us to process so many data while making it quick and make it more accessible, especially in the future, since uh, we're, we're starting to go into this era where big data is, uh, we're getting access to bigger and bigger more data. I think the main takeaway that I learned is that the future is limitless because uh, in a traditional classroom setting back at home, we learn about technologies from the 80s, 90s. We don't learn about technologies on the now. However, through this program, what, what happened was we got to know about future technologies. Other than that, I also learned a bit about the technicalities of the technologies involved. So I hope that I'll be able to carry it forward in the future. One of the things that I'm always asked is, do you have any advice for us? Or what, would, what advice would you give uh, you know, for us in our career or personal development? In my past, I have to admit that sometimes I said, you know, follow your passion. I come to the realization that that is actually not a good suggestion. Find your passion, so search. Try to see what you really love and then become very good at it. Put in the hours, put in the time learn to love it and love to learn it because only then you're not only able to find your passion but also to follow and boost your passion. So find your purpose and you know be proud of yourself 
and also um, really learn about the social issues that are happening in the world and you are the one who can change it and if you don't do it who else gonna do it and if you don't do it now then when are you gonna do it so yeah good luck with it the competition is going to be on august 27 and uh, we will be pitching on that morning. We're doing so far so good. Just keep up the good work and let's make it to Singapore. We come together, especially with a group of other inspiring people, and we're making new connections around shared interests, such as the sustainable development goals, technology. This shouldn't be a moment, but it should be a movement.